Scoot recently launched a brand new, more robust vehicle that can carry more weight and fit taller people. I went to their garage to check out the new cargo option and learn about Scoot's growth. So we are this week going to finish rolling out 150 of our new cargo scooters. So we've had 250 scooters on the road for a while now and our customers have continued to ask, can they take bigger shopping trips, can they run more errands, can they deliver stuff on a scoot? And we found a way to meet that demand with a new, bigger cargo scoot. What's the difference between this vehicle and the one that you had previously, the classic vehicle? So the biggest difference is really the cargo box, but uh, this whole vehicle was designed as a cargo carrier, so the suspension's a little sturdier, the wheelbase is a little longer, but we still keep the same driving dynamics and the same drive profile we tune in, so they should drive essentially the same way, but with a longer wheelbase, it's gonna feel uh, potentially a little bit more stable. It's a little bit of a bigger scooter, so it might be comfortable for more comfortable for some of our taller riders, but in general, it's, uh, it's just gonna slot into the fleet and be the pack mule. Got it. Uh, and how many people uh, are now out on the road using Scoot? We're doing uh, about 70,000 miles of scooting every month. And uh, our, my CTO just told us that we have now done enough miles to scoot to the moon and back. <laughs> so uh, we, we are really, there are a lot of people using it on a daily basis. Um, scoots get ridden multiple times a day, thousands of rides a week, uh, thousands of members a month. I booked my Scoot. I'm ready to go. How do I get started? So you turn the scoot on with your phone, grab the keys from under the seat, grab the helmet from the back, and then you put your phone in our phone dock, and this will become your speedometer, your battery mileage remaining, your ride clock, and your scooter-friendly routing through the city. Yeah, and I noticed also it's like gonna power your phone and 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 take you through the city where you need to go, navigation. Yeah. It's, uh, it's waterproof, it'll be easy to see, it'll charge your phone while you're riding as opposed to an app that's gonna run it down. And yeah, it'll just make the whole experience a lot easier. Does this work only for iPhone or is it also Android? iPhone, Android, um, it even fits an iPhone 6 Plus. One of the things that's interesting is you can book through the app just one way. How does that work? Basically, you, wherever you are, you figure out the scoot closest to you and then you figure out where you want to go. You can do round trips, but a lot of people like using scoot for one way. So they wake up in the morning and see the scoot that's parked a block from them, go get on it and ride downtown. And then that's the end. They don't have to return it. They don't have to worry about filling it up with gas, they don't have to do any of that stuff. So It's really nice, 19 bucks a month, and then how much to actually ride? So it's two bucks a half hour, so most rides are two bucks, especially if you're commuting in the city. You can get around really quickly when you don't have to sit in traffic in a car. Mm -hmm. So people are uh, zipping all across the city on a scoot, and most rides are about two bucks.